Okay, so I'm big enough to admit when I'm wrong, and boy, was I wrong. Um, I had recently posted a video. Uh, I was very excited that I got Loop in the Third shooting working with two players using Demol Shooter. Uh, because my first couple of attempts getting the game to work with Demol Shooter didn't work out for me. As soon as I started uh, Demol Shooter, I would execute my Naomi emulator, Demol, and it would crash immediately if Demol Shooter was running in the background. And I tried over and over again different permutations, making sure that, you know, things weren't going wrong in Windows or whatnot. And uh, eventually stumbled on the fact that if I ran the 64-bit version of Demol Shooter, then my Demol emulator would not crash. And the second I got Lupin running without a uh, Demol Shooter crashing it, I thought mission accomplished. I put up the banner and I uh, waved the flag and I posted a video showing where I just grabbed both my guns and just started shooting at the screen and it was like, it works. It didn't. Um, it uh, actually uh, wasn't until a uh, friend of mine, Ralph Cassius, messaged me where he was trying the exact same thing and he said, it's weird. Both my player one and player two guns are just following the single mouse. And uh, I thought, well, that's weird. No, it works great for me. And it actually doesn't. So I actually went back in here and ran the exact same script that I was running before, which is uh, Demol Shooter X64. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what's, uh, what was actually happening in my last video. Okay, so we're in Lupin. And this is uh, running the X64 version of the latest Demol Shooter. I'm going to go ahead and hit start on player two. And I got my player two gun here. If you look, I'm going to shoot and watch the... So player two is working. Oh, it's great. It's great. Now let's put player one in the game. So now it's looping. Still just the player two gun. You notice that he's now firing the player, player one's bullets. Now it's registering player two is off screen, but if I get on the right angle, you'll see that it's actually firing both guns. So this isn't working at all. So here's more evidence of how much this is not working. If you go into the test menu and go into gun adjustments, and I, again, I'm just holding the player two gun. If I point the player two gun at the screen, you can see it's moving the blue and the red crosshairs. The red crosshair is player one. The blue hair crosshair is player two. So both guns are just tied to the mouse. And Demol Shooter actually isn't doing anything at all, which is what you would expect if you put in the wrong arguments for Demol Shooter, which I have by executing the 64-bit version of the program when Lupin is clearly a 32-bit game, as the help file indicated. Never think that you're smarter than the help file. Don't be like me. Okay, so the trick now is to find a version of Demol Shooter that works with these uh, aim tracks and works with the Lupin game. Uh, found that the more recent Demol shooters, uh, if you execute the game while they're running, it crashes everything. So I decided to go older. I picked up uh, version seven of Demol shooter. And uh, this one, if you run it and then run the game, the game doesn't crash, but also your aim track guns don't work. So if I went in here into the diagnostic and selected my first aim track gun, you'll see that nothing, there's no response. The crosshair, if I click, it's not registering, the mouse clicks. So this version, for whatever reason, is not working with my aim track guns. So again, I wanted to uh, try and try again. And eventually I got to version 8.7. And again, if I run this one, regular, not 64 bit, if I run this one and then run Lupin, Lupin does not crash, so good. Now. This one, though, if I go into Diagnostic, again, choose the exact same hardware ID. Hey, look, this one works. This one recognizes the aim tracks. There's my crosshair. If I click the trigger, it's recognizing the mouse clicks. So this is a good version for aim track and a good version for Lupin. Point to the Demol Shooter 8.7 folder, ran the regular non 64 bit version of Demol Shooter with my targeted Demol version and the ROM per the help file that I should have always been listening to and then executed my game. Everything is uh, working pretty great. I'm gonna show that now to you now. in the game, we're running the older version of Demol Shooter in the background. I've got both my aim tracks. I'm just gonna go ahead and start on player one and start on player two. 
and I'm just gonna fire one gun at a time here. Okay, player two gun, just the revolver is firing. Player one gun, just the Walther is firing. And if I go into the settings menu and we go into the gun adjustments, you're gonna see the same thing. So we go down to check. Player two gun, just a blue cursor. Player one gun, just a red cursor. Put them both up and I can make them move in different directions from each other. They are independent guns now. But uh, that's it, yeah. So Demol Shooter 8, that's what you want to run with, uh, with Lupin at least.